waiting for this to get started. Okay, so somebody <coughs> nobody talks about Temple OS, but somebody is talking about uh, if you change colors, pointer might get messed up. Search for I think that's me talking. save fonts. Uh, what disturbs me is <coughs> um, what disturbs me is uh, I think this person uh, is confused about text mode. Uh, Maybe I need to do a big graphic splash because everybody thinks, uh, well, it's kind of natural, but uh, there is an actual test text mode. <coughs> this is not text mode. This is this is 640 by 480. Um, I designed it so that it will, if it fails, in theory it might not have this mode. I, that's a really bad PC if that happens. Um, if it fails, it will. Let me show you actual text mode. Go make OS install. I'll boot C. Drive C is the current drive. We are going to mount some drives. So C and we're going to mount C and D. Probe P. We're going, it's hard drive number four. Okay, that's all the drives we're going to mount. Disk cache. We're going to use the default. Now these are options. We're going to do text mode. Okay, so now the configuration is for text mode. So we hit, we're done. <coughs> so we just compiled the kernel for this part, for this drive, drive C. Normally we do a, uh, a RAM reboot, but as a matter of fact, we need to go all the way back to the BIOS because the RAM reboot is is a shortcut that doesn't always work. Well, in mo most of the time it works, but if you're changing modes, it needs to go all. The We're going to do a, a total reboot or an actual reboot. There, it rebooted, and it, this is my bootloader. I'm going to hit Drive C. Okay, so I wonder how this is going to look on the video. Okay, so now this is text mode. You can see that it's different, but it's 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 almost fully functional. If we go to the menu, control M, none of, none of the graphics appear. And if we play games, none of the graphics appear. But it um, it it will write to uh, bitmaps. The problem is the bitmaps can't be placed on the screen, so the games will. Uh, you know, I think most other operating systems, the uh, if you did graphics in text mode, it would uh, they would crash. But 
if we do like this room if I hit F5 um, so it's it's amazing how uh, so it's kind of a uh, so we need uh, control alt a um, if we design a new IBM PC we need to choose the 256 characters that are well the actually these um, we don't have to support text mode I can remove text mode once once it's recognized as God's official temple I can remove text mode and uh, save some lines of code so this that's it's totally irrelevant I was gonna say uh, we want the VGA ROM changed but we're, that we're not even no 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 we're not even going there we if we does that make sense um, <laughs> We are going to change the, uh, okay, I'm going to change it back. So make OS install. So I want, this is uh, like a make all. I tried to be friendly to um, Unix. Make, what is your problem, eh? I'm trying to get my uh, cheat sheet. My autocomplete make OS drive boot. It's god awful long, but it's. What does this do? This recompiles, it does a make all, and then it patches the boot sector with the address of the new kernel. That's the way you have to do it. So C, we want to do C and D, probe. Actually, we could have just used defaults. Let's do that. Oh, never mind. Four. You can do this at home. Okay, so now we do a total reboot. Go back now. VMware needs to fix their crap. It wasn't always broken. And what's wrong? Can can we please get the sound fixed? They. Okay, you need to fix that. Uh, I do want a little distortion. Let me tell you what I want. I have a well. Here's what. Let's do this have an adjustable distortion knob as part of VMware and what the heck add a reverb have, add a reverb we don't want to get too carried away technically that means that VMware will offer more than a native installation that's kind of not good <laughs> the native is supposed to be the ultimate isn't it Because, well, God said uh, one one audio voice, so that means one frequency at a time is what I think that means. Um, reverb improves the quality a lot. I I have um, code that will generate the waveforms. Uh, so, uh, if the VMware people need some help, that's ridiculous. It's easy. Anyway, um, I, I had it working with HD Audio at one point. It's the VM I can export uh, sound files with the current setup, and they sound reverb and all. Yeah, I just wanted to clarify the text mode. I'm going to get 
it's going to happen over and over. Every, everybody thinks it's text mode. I kind of ha have to explain to them. Now, um, while you're here, I might as well tell you, I just burned a new version with a, uh, a change. Um, let me see, how do I explain this? Uh, do you know what page tables are? Uh, well, let me tell you what, I don't know how to explain this. So this is the memory map uh, right here. So these, <clears throat> so um, as it turns out, uh, there's an array that uh, converts addresses to physical addresses. And it's actually a tree. It's a tree of arrays. That's called the page tables. Um, and uh, the way I had it before, um, um, VGA memory was uh, special. And what that did is it made one extra level in the tree just because of that. The, the screen graphics memory forced me to use an extra level in the tree. And it was kind of ugly. I say I I, I I I did a different approach that uses all the same level of tree, but I uh, it's not perfectly identity mapped anymore. So now there's, uh, for example, let's say that you have an address, something like that. Um, that now now maps to a a zero 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 so now if you if you want to access the vga you have to do it at that address uh, so that's kind of bad but it it makes it so that there's one less level of tree it makes it so that all the there were four levels of of tree and now there's just three and it's faster and it's less code so by the time I changed all that, it saved like 60 lines of code. Not that much, but that's, it's pretty hard to, to save 60 lines of code. So um, now, now people are going to be really confused. They're going to come in here. Not only are they going to think it's text mode, but they're going to start writing to the address uh, of VGA and it's not it's going to be uh do you want to know what the problem is um the memory is cached and so what that means is when you write to it the cpu has no reason to uh to uh update the video memory it it's cached it's uh do you know what that means that means uh when you write to the address it, it's stuck until it gets pushed out of cache, which uh, it doesn't always happen. Anyway, so uh, just wanted to go over those things. So it's a pretty cool, uh, I'm very happy with how, how much nicer the code is. It's a, it's a pretty neat update. I had to add, uh, so before I had the, uh, I didn't, sometimes I used a label. But in the past, in my demos, I used the, the raw magic number, A00. The whole industry, at least the older people, they all remember that address, A00 and B, B800. The old people used to know these numbers. And now it's kind of bad that we don't have those numbers, so they don't understand what's going on. So I added a uh, text VGA alias. I added a, uh, this is the, 
this address is the new address of um, I could write to it but it wouldn't show up I, I could you want me to do that um, memset comma let's see a5 640 times 480 divided by 8 and before you do anything else do a busy busy wait for three seconds we have preemption turned off so I think this will work okay so I, I wrote to the memory now there's there's actually a command to deal with this situation control alt V that flushes the that's another cache that that's my I made that cache anyway so just clarified that 